So in this video, I want to talk about the Diacom application and the cables and the connectors for it. There are many other connectors than this, uh, many for outboards. These are primarily the ones that you're going to use for inboard and stern drive engines. So the cable itself has a USB on it, and then it has the adapter in for any of the connectors that are made by Rinda Technologies, who makes this program and makes the cables and the adapters. So the first part is the cable itself. The cable is really the secret. The cable has a uh, chipset in it, so it can be reflashed. You can have this reprogrammed. So updated downloads from Diacom as the systems progress and different engine manufacturers change processors and processor ability, you may need to uh, reflash that. Now that's totally done by the software itself. So when you download an update, it, if there is a reflash for the cable, it will come with the update. The next time you connect to an engine with the cable, the software will say you have a new update for your cable. Would you like to update it now? Just click yes because it's going to take that much time. It's very, very fast. It's probably within five, ten seconds. The first adapter that was really produced back in 1987, somewhere around there, is what is called the MEFI adapter. This adapter, part number 94005, is a very common one. That would come with your cable when you order it. The other cable that's very common is the newer Mercruiser cable, 94006, is very close to the number 94005, so these were made almost at the same time. This cable came a little later, and it's used on Mercruiser engines that have SmartCraft. So if you have a SmartCraft system, you still need an adapter to plug into the engine. Now this adapter is different. It is strictly a four-wire adapter. Now, when we look at the two, all right, the other one also has four wires in it. There's only four wires. So you have power and ground, and then you have your twisted wire pair, which is your communications. Same thing here, two wires, twisted wire pair communications. These cables are all what are known as serial cables. These cables are running on the 1587 protocol, the slower speed than CAN. Okay, so these are the early ones. Now, Volvo Penna switched over to the E-Controls processor made in Texas. And when they first introduced the first EGC, electronic gas control engine, they came out with this adapter. And this adapter, again, is eight pins, but it has only four wires in it. Now, that connection is still a serial connection. It still uses the 1587 protocol. Okay, now what happens when we get to emission control systems? Well, as soon as we get to catalyst engines, the EPA gets involved. When the EPA got involved, they designated that there needs to be a universal adapter that's going to work on all gas product that stern drive inboard gasoline engines that are going to have catalysts and O2 sensors. So, uh, the vendors got together and what happened was Ed Rinda at Rinda Technologies designed this Diacom CAN adapter, 94029. There are a couple of versions of this. There was another version that was used with the old TechMate. It's a small square diagnostic tool. It had chipsets that you had to replace. You had to order them from Rinda and you had to take and split the case and change the chipsets. That tool is no longer supported, but the adapter is still out there. That adapter has a different part number. That adapter will not work with this cable in the Diacom program. This adapter would work with the scan tool. That would work with the old TechMate. So this is a universal adapter, okay? So just be careful of that. Make sure it's the 94029 cable that you order. There's an early version, and this is the updated version. They both are reflashable to the latest generation. This also can be reflashed by the ECM. So you may get an update and it says your cable needs to be updated and your adapter needs to be updated. Do you want to adapt it? I mean, do you want to update it? Yes. Right? Easy enough. Just take your time when you put this together. There is a key. You can see that it only goes one way. Don't force it. Take your time. 
and make sure you line it up and it just slides together. It's got a decent friction, so it's not gonna fall off real hard, but you can pull it apart for sure, okay? Little rubber piece in here fits inside and that holds it together quite